All right, so here we have my 512 gigabyte Bodicera image for the Steam Deck. This particular image has over 7,500 retro video games on it. So we're gonna take a quick tour throughout this entire image. So here we have our all games list. This is where we can go through, find every single game that is included on this setup. So if we jump in here, you can see the layout in here. We have audio for each of these video previews. This goes in alphabetical order. So we're choosing from a list on the right, which actually has the logos rather than just the text list. We also get some information in the uh, bottom left corner there. Video preview for each title, obviously. We have a background that alternates between each title. And we have some box art in the bottom left corner as well. Bottom right corner, you're gonna find information on each title. So it'll say how many players it is. It'll also tell you the genre, who made the game, all that good stuff. So I'm going to back out of that collection and moving on our first collection here is going to be favorites. So this is where you can customize this, add all your favorite games into this collection just to easily access those in the future. Continuing on, we have a laser disc here. If we jump in here, see all of these titles, dragon's lair, all your classic Daphne games back out of this. And in that collection, we actually have 17 titles total. So here is MAME, this is gonna be Classic Arcade, 600 titles in here, jumping in. And you can see each of these collections does differ in their setup ever so slightly. This one has an arcade cabinet where the video previews populate in. Same deal though. So we'll back out. Atari 2600 has over 600 titles in here. Love that retro layout. Over here we have Atari 5200, just under 100 titles for Atari 5200. Over here we have Atari 7800, just over 50 titles in here. Here we have Xbox. Just six titles in Xbox. Now Xbox is still relatively new with emulation. It hasn't been around quite as long as some of the other emulators. So still pretty limited as to what titles are gonna work in there. But all six of these do work perfectly. You could certainly go ahead and add your own titles as well. There's a lot more out there that do work, but they do take up a lot of space. So with this being limited in size, just at 512, I limited how many of those I actually put in. So here we have PC Engine. Inside here we have just under 300 titles. Continuing on we have NES. Inside here we have over 900 games. Over here we have Nintendo Game Boy. This is going to be the original Game Boy. Just under 600 games in here. Here we have Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo is going to have just under 800 games total. Here we have N64, 177 titles for N64. N64 works super well on Steam Deck. Continuing on, we have Game Boy Color here. Over 500 titles for Game Boy Color. Here we have Nintendo GameCube. This has 40 games for Nintendo GameCube. They work extremely well on here as well.
Here we have Game Boy Advance, over a thousand Game Boy Advance titles. Love the background on this collection. That Sonic game was one of my favorites. Here we have Nintendo Wii. Inside here we have over 35 titles. We have some ports. We have Pi Game, which is a cool trivia game. And then over here we have Sega Master System, just under 300 titles for Master System. Here we have Sega Mega Drive, over 800 titles for Mega Drive. Here we have Sega Game Gear, just under 300 titles here. Here we have Sega Saturn, over 35 titles for Sega Saturn. Lots of great titles in here. They run extremely well on the Steam Deck as well. Here we have Sega Dreamcast, over 145 titles for Sega Dreamcast. One of my favorite collections. Here we have Sega Naomi, 34 games here. One of my favorites right here. Here we have Neo Geo, 140 games for Neo Geo. Here we have PlayStation 2, 21 games here. Smaller collection just due to the size restraints here, but you could certainly add more. Lots of great titles. So that is going to conclude everything on this 512 gigabyte image using Botticera for the Steam Deck. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section below, reach out to me directly, whatever you want to do there. Always happy to help you guys out any way I can. You guys know the drill though, smash the like button on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all future videos and future projects that I take on here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for your time and support. I'll see you on the next video.